Hi guys. So I've been bored the last couple weeks. So I did a couple things to help me with that boredom and I want to share them with you. Now one of these on my list I didn't do because I, I physically could do it. Like I physically can but and I mentally can but I have nowhere to do it. So, yeah, sitting in a chair, sitting in a spot. I actually like this spot because the lighting's fairly decent. So, yeah, make a schedule for yourself. Um, set a time that you're going to get up in the morning. Set a time that you're going to go to bed at night. Uh, do a morning routine, do a night routine right before bed, and set a a rough estimate of what you want to get accomplished during the day. For me, that looks a little bit like doing some therapy packets in the morning, some arts and crafts in the morning. I'm counting this as an arts and crafts right now because that's because this is the time I normally would be doing my arts and crafts. I painted a little bit this morning. Not the best painting I've ever done, but they hung it up in the house. So, you know, people like it. <laughs> And, yeah, and then I usually have lunch after arts and crafts, and then I'm going to watch a movie, and then I'm going to do chore time, help with dinner. And then it's just a chillax time in between that and bedtime, which isn't necessarily a bad thing to have downtime during your day. But when you have nothing but downtime, you can kind of get a little anxious, a little cabin feverish, and it would be so much easier if you had a schedule or a routine that you were doing during this time. So yeah, uh, listen to a podcast. Uh, here are my three favorites: uh, Box of Thoughts with Gabby Hanna. I know she's a little controversial. But I still like the content she creates, and she apologizes for all the controversial stuff. But people are like, they're fake apologies? And I just, I don't get how you can do a fake apology. Unless you repeatedly do the same thing over and over again. And she doesn't do the same thing repeatedly over and over again. So, there's that. Um... Unfiltered with Zane and Heath, <laughs> they are some of the funniest people you will ever meet or listen to, and I love them. And then if you're looking for something that's like an old-timey radio show and a fictional story at the same time, uh, Welcome to Night Vale is such a good one. I'm on episode 60-something. I've been listening to it for two years now, and it's taken me that long to catch up. They're on like episode 110 now. So, you know, it's taking me a while to like catch up because I, I stopped after season one because I was like, I really like this, but I don't think I can binge listen to it in one sitting the way I used to binge listen and watch stuff. So there's that. Uh, download a new game. There are thousands of free games on the app stores. I recommend Best Fiends. I'm on like a level 110. This is not sponsored, but it's such a good game. Like, you don't need Wi-Fi. doesn't use data. Like, the ads are very minimal. It's a puzzle game where you get to take down slugs that have invaded your garden, sort of. And it, it's, a, it's a fun game, so go check it out. Uh, learn something new, try a YouTube tutorial, or one of those TikTok dances. Just try something new, get out of your comfort zone a little bit. Maybe that's trying a new recipe, 
or which I know is a little hard right now because people have hoarded stuff from the grocery stores. So there's that. Uh, this is one of the ones that I can't do, which is build a blanket fort because. I just don't have anywhere to do it. Like my room isn't set up to build a blanket for it and I can't bring chairs in there because that looks a little sketchy. And I, I can't do it in either of the living rooms because they're completely occupied by people right now surrounded, surrounding the TVs, watching the news. <sighs> the news is on 24 seven here and it's driving me insane. So yeah, uh, pick up a new hobby or an old one. Uh, I recommend doing this because it's the perfect time to do that with a lot of downtime, which is why I picked up painting again because I actually really love painting and it's something I used to do almost daily last year and I haven't done it since last October really. I've painted a couple things but nothing of severe note so there's that um read a book it's the perfect time to sit down and read that book that you've been meaning to read um i recommend meddling kids by i can't remember who it's by but Meddling Kids, such a good book. I'm actually doing a book review on it tomorrow because I just finished it. It took me two months, but I just finished it. And it's such a good book. I even got it on Audible. And it, did you know that when you listen to a book being read to you and when you read a book, it lights up 90% of the same, same areas of the brain. The only area it doesn't light up is your like the area that controls your eyes yeah but it lights up your memory it lights up I can't remember what it lights up but that's like what a teacher told me when I was in high school how true it is I don't know but go find out go listen to a book on audible or any other listening platform uh watch a tv show slash movie again this is the perfect time to binge watch a show that you've been meaning to watch and haven't had the chance to now here are a couple of recommendations for me if you have netflix umbrella academy such a good show such a good superhero show without being overly superhero-y um, I forgot, I lost my train of thought there for a second. If you have Hulu, Blackish, and Mixed-ish are some excellent shows to watch. And then if you have Disney Plus, one, you have all of the Disney Princess movies to watch. And secondly, you have The Mandalorian to watch. Mandalorian is such a good show like it makes up for the last three Star Wars movies being shit in eight episodes nine episodes it makes up for it being shit so like there's that uh, if you're not in a quarantine state and you're just in a lockdown which means that you're still able to go out and about and stuff like that without getting arrested or in trouble. Um, I lost my train of thought again. God damn it. I don't know why I keep doing that. Um, go for a walk. Just go for a walk. It will help you. It will clear your brain. You won't be stuck. Now here, here's what that said. If you think you've come in contact with somebody who has it, don't go out. If you're experiencing symptoms of any kind, do not go out. 
and remember to wash your hands. Uh, deep, clean, slash, organize. This is something, again, I can't really do because my stuff, because I have such minimal stuff here that I... it for this video i hope you found this helpful um if you liked this video hit the like button if you loved it sub it don't forget to hit the little bell notification so you know the next time i post if you want to see how i did this makeup look with the metallic eyes go watch my last video that's up on my channel right now and yeah, bye guys.